Yo, what's up guys? Today we're gonna learn how to use the Arduino to change colors on the RGB LED. One is that you need for the RGB LED project is an RGB LED, a breadboard, a couple of jumper wires, three 2020 ohm resistors, an Arduino, and the regular USB cable. Okay, so the first part of our code is defining the three pins. So define, it lets the compiler know that whenever you type in blue, it replaces it with 5, so then the compiler will know. It allows you to give a name to the constant value in the code. So, and it also tells you where to put the jumper wires on your Aligo Uno R3. So in the code, we defined each, so we defined blue as 5 and green as 6 and red as 3. So that's what these jumper wires are connected to, 6, 5, and 3. And then the black one is connected to the ground, which is connected to the negative side or the cathode on the RGB LED. And then the resistors control the flow of electricity, like last time. And then, yeah. So this pin mode function configures the specified pin to behave either as an input or an output. So this is telling that the red, blue, and green should behave as an output. Next, I added the digital write function, which allows you to use the high and low parameters to either turn on or turn off the red, blue, and green LED LEDs. So I changed red to high and green to high, and then the LED is yellow. Now if I change all of them to high and upload it, it becomes white because if you add all the colors, it's white. Now so int is a data type that stores numbers. Here I define JV, RV, and BV, which are variables that I'm gonna use in the loop. I, I defined RVS255 because in the color spectrum, the values are from zero to 255. And then I wanted to bring, I wanted to fade red and bring up green. So I initiated, I initiated 255 as RV and zero as GV. And then to make it actually happen, I use the for loop. For a loop, i is equal to 0 and i is less than 255. So then I'll execute these commands and then go back and see that i plus equals 1. That means 0 will change into 1. Then I will see if it's less than 255 and run the command again. So that means these commands will keep on running until i is 254. Then it will stop. So in all, it will run from 0 to 254, which means it will run 255 times. In the for loop, I added an analog write function, which is different from the digital write function because you can specify the brightness by using numbers, whereas in the digital write function, you can only do high or low. So this RV in the analog write is initiated as 255. As the loop goes on, it gets lower to 0, but and then the GV is defined as is initiated as zero and as it goes on it becomes 255. That's how the colors are fading in the RGB LED. Now I added two more loops to fade it from green to blue and blue to red and start the process back all over again. So these three jumper wires that are connected to the outputs on the Arduino are connected to the RGB LED using resistors. And then the black one is connected to the cathode on the RGB LED, which is connected to the ground on the Arduino. And then the code uh, fades the lights on the LED. Here is the picture that shows all the connections. Yup, my LED is changing from blue to red, to green. So yeah, it's working as per my code. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.